Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Zero Water Filter. So this is their 10 cup pitcher, and it's got a little spout on the side for easy dispensing. So I'm going to show you how to set the filter up, and then we're going to do some tests with it. So when you get a Zero Water Filter, it comes pre-rinsed. Um, pre so you don't have to run any water through it before you can start drinking it. Just take this cap off. You'll have some condensation underneath it. But it is ready to go. So take this blue cap off and make sure this O-ring is installed. So in our pitcher, we've got this. We're going to screw it into the threads and in from the bottom. Again, not from the top, in, in from the bottom. And you should be able to screw this in. And we want to get that seal nice and tight. There. It's going to kind of come to a stop and then make sure it's sealed all the way around. Our, we're going to put our water in here. It's going to get filtered. This is called a five-stage filtration. It's going to come out the bottom. Now you'll see inside here it says, replace filter when tester reads 006. So in the lid here, we've got this TDS tester that fits really nice. It's got a protective cap. It's got batteries in it that we can change. Okay, so the TDS checker stands for Total Dissolved Solids Tester. And the higher the number, the more uh, dissolved solids you have in your water. So this is tap water out of my tap. And you're just going to stick it in there. Turn it on. And it gives you a reading right away. It says 168. 168. So that's obviously not filtered water. And that's how you know when it's time to change this filter. So when the water you're getting out of it that's already been filtered has a reading of 6 or higher, then you're supposed to change that filter. Okay, so we're going to see how long it takes to filter the fill the pitcher up. I've got it all installed. Again, you can take this over to your sink and just fill this up with water, but I'm going to use a pitcher. So let's start the stopwatch. Okay, so it's starting to flow out. So this is not an immediate thing. It doesn't, it does take a little bit of time to flow through that filter and come out the bottom. But again, the water I'm putting in is pretty high, 168. Okay, so let's go over dimensions. So it's a right at 11 inches tall. At, at its maximum point with the handle is about 11 and a half. At the base, with the spout, you're looking at about almost nine. And it's not super wide, about six at the top and about four and a quarter at the bottom. Okay, so we're at the five minute mark. You can see it's got a little ways to go yet. There's how the top part's doing. And again, it's still filtering in. Okay, so coming up on the 10 minute mark, it is still filtering water. I did add a little bit more water to the top. Okay, so at the 13 minute mark, looks like I got plenty of water in the pitcher. There is just a little bit of water left to go in the top. Okay, so let's dispense some and see how it does. It's a very nice dispenser. All right, let's check it. Okay, so I got my TDS, I got it turned on. It's zero. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. So again, here's my tap water. Tap water, oh boy, lots. 160. Zero. Again, there's the tap water, 163. Filtered water, zero. Okay, so I just did a taste test. So the filtered water, you know, I can't taste a difference. Um, and I've got, I thought I had pretty good water coming out of my tap. It doesn't smell like chlorine a bunch or nothing. So I don't have a bunch of chlorine smell or taste. But they both, um, they both taste about the same. It's just, I'm pretty, I'm pretty shocked by the TDS tester. So that's how you know when it's time to change that filter. You've got to use the TDS tester. So once in a while, check your water that you're drinking or using. When you have a reading of six or higher or above six, then it's time to change the filter. Okay, so it pretty much finished up in here.
Okay, so you can also use this as a pitcher. You can pour the water out and it'll come out of where the, the, it'll, the filtered water will come out, not the water in the top, but you can't have any water in the top when you use it as a pitcher. So let's see how it pours. Yeah, pours very nice. The handle does have a little bit of grip on it. I like that, but I mainly, you're probably gonna have this in the refrigerator and you're gonna use the dispenser. So I really like this zero water filter. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.